Hi, this is Urvaksh Karkaria with Automotive News. I'm here with the BMW iVision D, which is BMW's latest concept vehicle. It debuted at CES 2023 in Las Vegas. It's a pretty cool car with a lot of, packed with a lot of great technology, including e-ink displays, a windshield that doubles up as an infotainment screen, and an interactive BMW kidney grill. I'm here with Max, UX UI expert, uh, to get a quick walk around of the vehicle. Max, over to you. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's talk a bit about our new Vision car. What's your name again? I'm Dee. Thank you very much. So let's start with the technology in the front. So first of all, we got the e-ink in the front, which is not only in the front, but we also got it on both sides as well as on the rear. And the car is super simple, super reduced, and therefore for us, a white canvas. Everyone can design their own graphics, their own car, but this car for us is all about communication. It's your digital buddy. The BMW iVision D is not only about digitalization, but we found the perfect symbiosis between digital and analog, which we featured in a perfect moiré effect on the rims, as we call our sneakers. Moving on to the side, we got our e-ink technology, which we also featured in the front and in the rear, which can be your ceremonial entrance, your digital handshake coming close to the car. So Max, I have a quick question on the e-ink display. What is the benefit of using e-ink? technology as opposed to some other tech? We featured the e-ink technology with our iX Flow, and therefore we thought, hey, where can we place the e-ink technology on the car and in, a, in a very reduced way? The benefit of e-ink is that once you change the color, there's no more energy been drawn from it. So we changed the Hofmeister Kink, which is very known BMW, uh, and made it, instead of analog, we made it digital. And the e-ink is uh, SIPS uh, energy, so it's, it's efficient on the car. Very, right. very right, yeah. Okay. This is the idea we had. And this is our idea of uh, digitalization with the e-ink on the side, but everyone else can decide if it's a pattern or something else on the side as well. So a lot of customization. Exactly. Yeah. It's up to you. Thank you, Dee. So the e-ink is not just limited to the sides of the vehicle. Nope. It all can also be featured on the rear. Exactly. Uh, let's have a look. The e-ink in the rear is, as we call it, almost high tech. It is there when you need it. You can change it, but it's super reduced. As we see it here, it's 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 not it, it's flash. It, it's integrated perfectly into right. the into the body, and you can go super into detail, showing on the BMW signs on each each side the BMW uh, typo, but it is uh, totally customizable again. So if you want to have I don't know your favorite football team in the back, you can certainly do that as oh, well. Oh, okay. I like the term shy tech. It yes. means the technology is hidden when you want it to be. Exactly. And then it emerges when you want to show it off. Exactly. It's Very interesting. Shy, but I'm not. <laughs> Thank you, Dee. She's got a personality. She does. Yeah. So, Max, let's move to the interior. Uh, it's got a bunch of cool technologies. Uh, the principal one being a heads up display that trans transforms the entire windscreen into a display for both the passengers as well as the driver. Exactly. Walk us through some of the technology in the interior. First of all, you, don't, you see we don't have a, a secondary screen. We I don't have the screen on the dashboard. For us, it was all about the screen and the windshield. And we say, hey, why don't we just use the windshield as our only screen, and therefore we can change the size of what will be displayed in there. And we have different stages. First stage is very low. You just get a welcome. You just get your speed and range. Secondary is going to be a little bit more, a little bit higher as well. Third is even higher and stretches out to the co-driver as well that can change his or her content. And four and five will be fully immersive all the way to the end. And number five will be a 
full immersive experience with side and rear window uh, projections as well to really draw you into the whole holistic experience. And when do these uh, projections change? What's the sequence? Is it based on the level of assisted driving? Mm -hmm. We got a slider, so for this car, for us, it was all about you deciding how deep you want to dive right. into the digitalization. Right. And therefore, you can slide and with, again, our shy tech right. theme. So it's, it's a stitched material on the dashboard, but including we have a, a projection or a, a display sure. that actually runs through it and shows what step you're in. What's the benefit of transforming the windscreen into a display? Does it then lead to an interior that's uncluttered, minimalistic? Exactly, that was our main purpose. We wanted to have it clean like the exterior with a focus on the road, your hands on the wheel, wow. and just to you know keep you uh, focused on what is ahead from you. Wonderful. I also see some other technology uh, on the on the door panels. Yeah, we got. We also thought, hey, how how much digi digitalization in this case, Chi Tech, can we put into the car? And digitalization is the main topic of the car, right? right? Without overdoing it, but we want to have no door handles. Mm -hmm. So we have a sensor where you can come close to the projection, touch it, and we'll close the door pretty much the same in the front. There's no door handle, right. but come close to it and the car will recognize it and you will open the door with it. Over here, you still got the arrows front and back, which changes the seating position. So therefore, it will appear or disappear whenever you don't need it. Again, so coming to that shy tech. Exactly. Beautiful. It's only there when you need it. Beautiful. The steering wheel looks interesting too. Right. The good thing about the steering wheel, for many years we had information right behind the steering wheel but since we don't have the information close to the steering wheel and we don't have it anymore the, the information we can change how the the st steering wheel actually looks like right i mean you don't have to look through it so we can have the spoke right in a in a, a vertical way instead of a horizontal way and that's where we tried a whole new design right. and that was really fun for us to actually try this admit it it and looks wicked like awesome doesn't it <laughs> it does Thanks. Uh, and the steering wheel, is, is it functional? That, is there a functional reason to have it shaped like that? Does it, is it more ergonomic? It's not ergo more ergonomic, but it's, it, for us it was nice to have a different shape all of a sudden. Before you ha always had the round shape, maybe yeah. with a squared off um, bottom piece, but over here we could totally change it since, like I said, you right. don't have to look through it anymore. The technology is really cool, but the big question is, what is BMW trying to show the world mm -hmm. with this iVision car? What is it, the point of this? It wants to show that BMW is really working hard in new digital components, a new technology in general. And uh, over here we see bits and pieces what BMW is actually working on to bring each of uh, those individual right. technologies maybe one day to the streets. But this is, first of all, a try and error even for us. Right. We want to see if, if, if it's even possible. And, and yeah, it was like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a digital playground for us by the end of the day. It was so we shouldn't get too excited uh, and expect this in our showrooms anytime soon. You can get excited. Okay. <laughs> you should get excited. You should right. get excited. Okay, thank and, you. But yeah, it will, like I said, even for us, that's new technology and we hope to bring it to, to the streets one day. Fantastic. Thank I think uh, this is a great effort. Thank you yeah, very much. Thank you. Thank you. So that's that. This is the iVision D. What does the D stand for? Digital Emotional Experience. Wonderful.